I'm here to tell you. Hi everyone, Magical Flower Nerd here. I am here to tell you all about mark making. Some of it's gonna probably fail very badly and some of it is gonna look super cool. The reason I'm doing this video today is so I can help you get some extra credit in your sketchbook. Now, mark making is very important because it can often reflect on your mood and the whole theme of your piece. So, um, I have a few examples here. I have bleach, cling film, water, tissue, ink, which is going to be the biro, coloured pencil, and tape, and the other way around. I've done a few mark making here. So, in a few examples that you might have seen is Pointillism by Claude Monet, and uh, some hatching, which goes like this. And it often gives like depth and tone to your piece, and just general mark making in general. So, you get the gist. So first off, I think we should get going. In your book, there's the always the what's next stage. So, as these are waiting to dry, you can always scan them into Photoshop and make some beautiful backgrounds, some beautiful textures, and you can even make some beautiful collages out of this. There is nothing wrong with experimenting and keep trying, trying again. Just because it doesn't happen first time doesn't mean that it's always going to fail. So, this is Magical Flower Nerd saying, Lottie loves you baby, leave a comment down below. And if you want any more advice on mark making, just give me a DM or just give me a shout out and I am more than happy to help you. Personally, I found mark making it a very good idea to help into my final piece because it helps you learn new methods, make connections to artists and it makes you understand why mark making can help you get a really, really good reaction. Um, a few safety things, please make sure you are wearing safety uh, protection so please especially using bleach it is hazardous make sure you're wearing eye protection skin protection and you're in a well ventilated area and please be supervised while you're doing it um but look out for the colors like and what i what i'll do is i'll post some pictures out of some close-ups and i'll even show you some work that i'll do with these textures in some later videos as much as it doesn't look like much this could be a beginning of the next project for me because i've looked into what i could possibly achieve so, always make time for some sampling, whether it looks atrocious or not, it can help you get a sense of